Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the draw tight trailer hitch receiver here on a 2021 Hyundai Tucson. This is what our trailer hitch looks like installed. Now the majority of it is actually going to be hidden behind the bumper, therefore it's going to give us a very factory-like appearance. And what we can see has a nice black powder coated finish that again helps it blend in with the vehicle well and it also helps protect the hitch from rust and corrosion being that it is on the underside of our vehicle. So adding a hitch to your Tucson is gonna be a great option because it's gonna make your vehicle that much more versatile. Now we can obviously use the trailer hitch for towing, but if we wanna hit some trails or we need to free up some space inside the vehicle for those long road trips, we can certainly attach a hitch mounted bike rack or hitch mounted cargo carrier. So in regards to towing, our trailer hitch has a class three rating, which is gonna provide us with a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating that's the amount we can pull outward on a receiver tube. It also has a 525 pound tongue weight rating, which is gonna be the downward force on the receiver tube. Now, keep in mind, those are actually just for the hitch. The hitch is tested separately of the vehicle. So we wanna go ahead and check in your owner's manual, verify the capacity, and then abide by the lower of the two rated components. So you'll be happy to know that our larger two inch by two inch receiver tube opening is gonna give us plenty of hitch mounted bike racks and hitch mounted cargo carriers to choose from. We have a great selection here at eTrailer you can look through as well. If we take a look at the side of our receiver tube, we're gonna to see two holes here. This front one is actually gonna be designed specifically for a J-pin stabilization device, which we do sell here at eTrailer. It doesn't actually come with the hitch, but essentially what it does is it works as a hitch pin, a lock, and an anti-rattle device to keep your accessories secure. But as far as the hole behind there, that's gonna be our standard hitch pin hole. So we'll just simply insert our hitch pin like so. These are sold separately as well. And then on the bottom, we have our safety chain tabs here. Those are gonna accept both the larger Clevis style hooks as well as the smaller S-type hooks. Now I do wanna point out that if we're using our trailer hitch for a bike rack, most of those are gonna come with their own hitch pin so you don't need to worry about purchasing anything separately. So now we have a couple measurements for you guys. The first one is gonna help you when you're selecting your ball mount. That way you can get the correct rise and drop to tow your trailer level. We're gonna measure from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. And that's right at 13 and a half inches. And then we have the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper. That one's gonna be right at five inches and that measurement there will be useful when you're selecting your folding accessories. That way you can make sure while they're in the stowed position that they don't contact the bumper. So in regards to installation, this one isn't bad at all. It's definitely something you guys can do at home by yourselves with just a common, with just a common tool set and limited mechanical knowledge. We can go ahead and walk you through this entire process step by step now. We're gonna be removing these little panels behind our rear wheels here attached to the bumper fascia. Now we have one on each side, but they're super easy to remove. There's gonna be three total fasteners, one here, one here, and then one on the inside as well, attaching the fender liner there to this panel. And then we have a couple nuts up top there we just pull down from, we don't actually have to loosen those. But in order to get these fasteners out, you can either take a flathead screwdriver or an actual trim panel tool. We're just gonna get our tool head in between that little divot there to pry the center section out, and then the rest of it should come out with it. Once we get all three of our fasteners out, we should just be able to pull straight down. And those are what those fasteners look like that are holding it in up top. We just simply pry it out. You may have one that's stuck on the stud there. That one didn't come out with it. We'll just pry that off and reinstall it. And now we'll have that same panel over on the other side here. We'll remove it using the same steps. Our next step here is gonna be optional. It is not required to install your trailer hitch. However, we're gonna be doing this because it is gonna make things a little bit easier on us to show you guys. And what I mean by this is, we're gonna be lowering the exhaust just slightly. So in order to do that, we're gonna take a cam buckle strap. If you're working on the ground and you do decide to do this, you could simply take a jack stand or a couple blocks of wood. We just need to support the exhaust when we break these hangers free so it doesn't fall to the ground and become damaged. So I'm just gonna find two points on our frame there. And I'm going to tighten this strap to provide some support. We have two rubber isolators. There's one on the driver and there's one on the passenger side. This is what the one looks like over on the driver's side. 
So basically, we're just gonna be removing this metal hanger from the rubber isolator. This is gonna give us more room to work to get our hitch up into position. So in order to do this, we'll simply spray down that metal hanger, try to get it in between the isolator there. And then we'll either take a pry bar or an exhaust hanger removal tool. And we'll simply slide that metal prong from outside the rubber bushing. And again, we have one on each side. And now with an extra set of hands, we can set our hitch into position. Keep in mind, we'll have to come up and over the exhaust on the passenger side first. And now we'll be using our included hardware to secure the hitch. You wanna make sure when you're installing your conical tooth washer that the teeth are gonna be facing up towards the hitch. On the driver's side here, we're gonna have three bolts. And on the passenger side, we're gonna have four. So over here on the driver's side, we have one on the bottom and then two on the side. On the passenger side, we'll have two on the bottom and two on the side. Now, once we have all of our hardware in place, we're gonna take a 16 millimeter socket. We're gonna first snug up all of our hardware and then we can go back and torque it to the specifications found in our instructions. And now all that's left is to simply raise our exhaust back up into position and reinstall our two side panels that we removed earlier. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the draw tight trailer hitch receiver here on a 2021 Hyundai Tucson.